Yep. What do you believe are the biggest mistakes made by the 80 to 90% of traders that don't make money? Uh, believing all the bullshit in the market. So again, we're back to this conflict of interest. Um, a lot of either bad people or people who are incentivized in the wrong way uh, will either tell you lies or they don't know certain situations occur and they're just doing their job but they're just a bit stupid, yeah? Um, will tell you things that you want to hear all the time. You know, what, you, what people want to hear about trading is that everyone can do it, it's easy, and you can make $10,000 a month trading the international forex markets if you follow this line on a chart. <laughs> yeah, complete nonsense. So a lot of these people with conflict of interest will tell you that stuff, but it's obviously a lot more difficult than that. You know, the trading is, is, can be straightforward, but you've got to take an approach where you've almost got to be a little be very cynical and a little bit angry at the world because the rest of the world is there to take your money, <laughs> right? So if you're a bit cynical and a bit angry, it's a good basis to start trading because you're going to question everything, every method, every system, every uh, objective of, some, of individual of individuals, you're going to question everything. That's a very good basis in life anyway, but especially in trading. Um, so I think the reason why most people lose money is because they, they're probably too trusting. You know, what's the experience of people when they begin trading and they've never done it before? Sit down on their computer at home, type into Google, learn how to trade. What comes up first? Well, on the SEO, on the left-hand side of Google, it's all brokers, and they've all got a conflict of interest. And on the right-hand side, you've got paid search, where people are paying for you to click on that. Why? Because a certain percentage of people who click on that pay them enough money that they can do it again. <laughs> right? So you've got to be careful. You know, there's a, you're not going to learn how to trade by, uh, by going onto Google, typing in learning how to trade, and going on 20 courses. 20 free seminars. What you're going to learn is a load of rubbish that will never make you money. And then everybody goes and puts money in their trading account and blows up and they wonder why. And then they sit there for a year, save up some more money and then do it again. And they never actually seek out a proper education. So that's why you know, people, people are taught uh, things like, uh, they're told, they're t people are told what they want to hear but also the assets that people tell you to trade and, ha and how they tell you to trade them is actually the reverse of what professional traders do. So someone somewhere within that company, probably the big boss, is making sure that that's what everyone is telling everyone to do.